watching the Rotoscopers YouTube. My name is Chelsea Robson. And I'm Morgan Stradling. Today we're going to be talking about Tinkerbell and the Secret of the Wings. Ooh. So Secret of the Wings is the fourth in the Tinkerbell direct-to-video series, which are actually pretty good. The yeah. animation is really, really good, and John Lasseter's kind of in charge, so he's making sure no junk. So this story details Tinkerbell's origins, where she comes from, and just how she came to be and her whole story. She discovers that there are multiple worlds, multiple different types of fairies. So she is a spring fairy, and there is also this other world that is all dedicated to the winter fairies. And so she just starts thinking, I wonder what's over there. And I so, <laughs> so, <would I. laughs> so she decides to cross the bridge and head into the winter fairies world. And something crazy happens to her wings. They start like glowing and getting all like really, really pretty and crystallized. But then at the same time, they start to hurt too because it's really cold on that side and she's not built for that. So she has to get mm -hmm. on the other side really fast before her wings break or something bad happens, which is no good. Not good. But later on, she's like, she's so interested. I want to know what happened to my wings. Why were they like this? So she tinkers around and builds herself her own little... A uh, winter outfit, which is quite <laughs> dashing, I would <Ooh>. say. <laughs> Very fashionable. <laughs> Very fashionable. So she heads on over to the winter world, where she ends up meeting Periwinkle, who happens to be her sister. <gasps> crazy. That's crazy. You can't... She has a sister? Yeah. Oh, man. I know. So they have lots of fun, but at the same time, this is a forbidden relationship. Like, this is... They're not supposed mm. to be friends, because they're from two different worlds. It's like Fox and the Hound. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Don't bring that one up. I have hard feelings against that movie. <laughs> I got to go to the special press screening for this. And so it was in the theaters and I took my little six-year-old niece. And I, really, I just wanted to do it so I could get those like awesome amp points. <laughs> um, but throughout the whole thing, I'm watching this and seeing, you know, just every little bit about it. The characters are really well developed. You've got a lot of different... The animation is actually really decent. Like, really good, actually. Yeah. And... As you're watching this story, it's just, you like it. And I found myself a lot of times just be like, I really like this movie. <laughs> like, just as much as she did. And I, I, was, I was really impressed with it. Really, there isn't very much that they would have to have changed in this movie to make it fit any screen for any audience. So all in all, I gave the movie in itself three and a half stars. Nice. That's really good. Especially when you consider that I gave that same rating to Jack the Giant Slayer. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but this was, I just, I liked it that much. So for the features, guess what? There aren't very many. There's a short, a preview of a short, and two music videos. Not too good. So the first short is called Pixie Hollow Games. And so when I first read this, I thought this was going to be one of those like cheesy interactive DVD games that like mm. little kids can play and like, oh, you got to pick, find where the <laughs> nut is hidden. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it wasn't like that at all. It was actually a 22 minute short that talks about, I guess like the fairies have their own version of the Summer Olympics. And apparently the garden fairies like suck and they get out in the first round every single time. So Rosetta motivates all her garden friends, and I guess we'll see what happens at the Pixie Hollow Games. So the next bonus feature is a preview of a short. So What? Yeah, so I mean, I that's guess... That's as much as they can do? For the next movie that comes out. Oh, okay. they, they release one of these a year, so they all just right, give me a little right. snippet, so whatever. And then two <laughs> music videos that, whatever, I'm not even going to talk about them, who cares? <laughs> so all in all, I give the features two stars. So I'd say that this is definitely rentable. Yeah. I think it's actually really good. I know people try to like make fun of the Tinkerbell series, but they're really good. And this one I think is one of the better ones of the lineup. Yeah. So it's really fun and then you get to explore the whole world of winter. So it's cute. Yeah, it's very cute and precious. <laughs> you can actually find this on Netflix too, which is great. Ooh. So if you want to get a free month of Netflix, you can head down and you can click on that link down below, www.therotoscopers.com slash Netflix, and you get a free month trial. Very awesome. Basically, you could watch this movie for free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Until next time, we are the Rotoscopers. Uh, and let's not forget Anastasia and Drusilla, who are fantastic evil stepsisters because they're just mean and horrible. I mean, I guess you grow up and your little sister is your maid. You really don't care that she's <laughs> yeah. your stepsister. But, yeah, they're just really mean to Cinderella. And they have some great lines, like, yeah. Sing, sweet nightingale. Sing. Yeah. <laughs> I always love that part. I know. <laughs>
then you get Cinderella who's like, Oh, swing, safe night again. <laughs> Seriously, all the music lessons awesome. in the world won't make that close to a girl's <laughs> <laughs>